Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and you can call me this guy if that's tricky to pronounce. It's good to have you along. Today I'm taking a look at the Atomic Amplifier 3, the pedal thingy, and wondering if it could replace my Fractal Audio Axe FX 2. So I'll be right back after this intro. Okay, so like I said, I'm taking a look at the Atomic Amplifier 3, also known as the Atomic Amplifier Pedal. Uh, seems to be discontinued now, if I've understood correctly. But you can get it secondhand for just over 300 euros or dollars, uh, if you're lucky, maybe under. Um, you can get new ones on eBay from Japan for ridiculous sums, like 1,200, which is way, way too much. Um, what I'm doing is, I'm basically thinking of ditching my Fractal Audio Axe FX2 because, let's face it, um, I don't really use it. Now, I'll, I'll explain. Uh, the Fractal Audio Axe FX2 is a brilliant thing and uh, the Atomic Amplifier pedal um, won't be able to do what the Axe FX does on many levels, but I'm looking for something very specific. So I used to use the uh, Axe FX to record stuff in the studio, I used to use it live, uh, but nowadays I'm just using it to demo stuff because I've gone back to using uh, the Marshalls as kind of live and I will always used to use them for real proper recordings in the studio, uh, even when I was using the Axe FX. And I've been thinking, like, why do I need an Axe FX to demo stuff at home? Because I rarely need more than two sounds. Um, and the amplifier should be able to do more than two sounds. Uh, and there's one sound in particular that I, I'm really looking for. And that's a kind of plexi sound with an overdrive pedal in front. Uh, so that's what I'm going to take a look at today. Now I know the amplifier won't replace the fractal uh, in terms of versatility it, and it doesn't do the reverbs and all the effects and all that kind of stuff. It does have reverb, it does have delay, but they're fairly basic things. But what I'm, like I said, I'm interested in basically one sound and then maybe something else to go along with that, a clean and a slightly crunch uh, type thing as well. But before I get going, because this is supposed to be a comparison, here's uh, some of my playing with the Fractal Audio Axe FX2 XL from an older video. <laughs> Apart from the video quality being terrible, the sound quality on the Axe FX is great. So that's what I'm hoping that this will do, uh, at least in the ballpark. For me, it's mostly about feel, uh, because demos, they don't have to be brilliant. Uh, but what I'm looking for is feel, because I want to uh, make, I want the thing that I'm playing to make me want to play more. So I might also use it for practice, although I I have noticed that I actually prefer the Roland Microcube for practice, even with the Fractal Audio. So here goes, I'll just run through a few, 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 a few presets on the Atomic Amplifier uh, as they are. I bought this second hand, so these might have been tweaked, I don't know, but they should give you a fair idea of what this thing can do. And I've set up a couple of presets that should give me the kind of sound that I want. So um, here's the first one, it's called Fman HBE. Hmm, could that be Friedman? Okay, now that I turned the level up, it's making a bit of noise, even though it has an inbuilt noise gate. But anyway, here's the Friedman preset. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that doesn't sound half bad. Uh, next one. This is a Vox. Okay, here's a deluxe, Fender Deluxe. Sounds quite nice. Okay, a few more. Here's Brits 800. <laughs> Okay, so that's again a crunchy one. You could add an overdrive because it has overdrive and distortion pedals built in, but this is just the thing with uh, gain on full. <laughs> idea if gain is on full, let's see. Now it is. Fifty-one fifty. Something called 5150 Modern. Okay, so you, I think you get the general idea. It sounds very nice. Okay, now for the deal breaker. This is the plexi sound that I've set up, uh, and uh, the clean sounds sounded uh, good enough for me. I'll, I'd be happy with those. Uh, not brilliant, but yeah, um, good enough. But like I said, this will be the deal breaker for me uh, because I like me a good old plexi sound. Uh, just again, uh, quickly, so you get an, a bit of an A and B, here's uh, the fractal audio from an older video. <laughs> And here's the plexi with the atomic amplifier. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And you can, of course, uh, use it without the boost in the pedal. So now boost is off. Yeah, sitting here, um, it sounds good-ish. Does it do what the Fractal Audio does? No. Mm, is it good enough for demoing purposes? Uh, definitely. But is it good enough to replace the Fractal Audio? I don't know. Uh, the Fractal Audio, the one that I have, the XL, the 2XL, costs around, I think, 1,500 second hand at the moment. Well, you can't get it new, I think, but... Uh, and this is 300, so there's a fair bit of price difference there. And for most of us who live in the real world, world uh, budget is an issue, and that's basically why I was thinking of maybe selling the Axe FX and buying this. My second option is to just buy an older Axe FX, the Axe FX Ultra, for instance, or the standard. Uh, and the price of one of those would be kind of halfway between this and the Axe FX 2. Uh, and I don't know, there's something about this that I'm not sure about. It sounds a bit plasticky and it sounds a bit weird. Uh, I mean, I kind of like it. And I actually liked it more at home. Um, I was expecting more of it here in the studio. Um, I, the setup I have here, I just have a crummy speaker for uh, reference, uh, because mostly I just play the Marshall. But uh, at home I have proper studio speakers and it sounded fairly good from those, but on this crummy little speaker it didn't sound great. And I've played the Axe FX many times here and that does. Uh, so, yeah, uh, should you get one of these? I think it does a very good job if you're on a budget and uh, need something that you can practice with, you can uh, demo stuff with, you could potentially hook it up to a proper amp, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose in my opinion. Uh, I'd go for pedals instead. Uh, and yeah, I'm kind of... This is a review of sorts, <laughs> so... Um, my my kind of final verdict is maybe I'm not entirely sure about this uh, so that's basically all I have for you kind of inconclusive video this I hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you did give it a thumbs down if you didn't and uh, subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing and comment let me know what you thought of the pedal and Join me on Patreon because you get a bunch of exclusives like uh, material that's never been released anywhere else. And if you want free music, you can check out my website. The link's in the description. Anyway, I'll end by playing a bit more on the plexi setting that I made on this and see if I kind of change my mind. I'm doubting it. <laughs> but I hope to see you in another one. Take care. Goodbye!